Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about is intermittent fasting safe for people with diabetes? So if you like the video related to intermittent fasting and diabetes, I would like to request you all, please do like, share, subscribe this channel so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. Fasting is hardly new. People have been fasting for religious reason, Christians, Jews, and among others, for centuries. But fasting for weight loss is a relatively recent phenomenon, one that has become increasingly popular, in part because it seems to work at least for some people. Intermittent fasting has also gained a lot of attention recently because celebrities have endorsed the plan and there have been recent releases of new intermittent fasting diet books in which a person limits their meals to certain window of time with a fixed period of eating little or nothing can boost weight loss, reduce waist circumference and lower blood pressure, sh blood sugar, and total cholesterol. Given that weight, blood pressure, blood sugar, and total cholesterol levels are all important in people with type 2 diabetes, intermittent fasting is worth exploring if you have the condition. Still, there are factors to consider before giving it a try. Now, what is intermittent fasting and how is it done? Even if you have never tried intermittent fasting, if you have likely fasted before without even thinking about it, fasting is often required for blood tests, medical procedure or surgery. When you are fasting, you naturally get fewer overall calories. So the fasting state also causes an increase in growth hormone levels, increase in so decrease in insulin levels and these changes in the hormones also cause an increase in our metabolic rate so all of these factors of intermittent fasting help with weight loss okay so now potential benefits of intermittent fasting for diabetes it may boost weight loss in previous years dietitians and scientists thought of intermittent fasting as a negative practice so there is not a wealth of high quality clinical research on how it may affect people with diabetes. So the attitude have begun to change and some newer studies suggest the approach may have benefits including for people with diabetes. So intermittent fasting lowered insulin resistance in 13 adults with type 2 diabetes Insulin is a hormone that helps shuttle glucose out of the bloodstream. People with type 2 diabetes are resistant to insulin, which results in higher blood sugar level. It's thought that losing weight through intermittent fasting can lead to improvements in insulin sensitivity. So, it includes several studies that found intermittent fasting reduced fasting glucose level, weight, and post-meal blood sugar level in people with type 2 diabetes. Even with these studies, though, further research needs to be conducted to see whether intermittent fasting is truly safe for people with type 2 diabetes as a whole. Now, potential drawback of intermittent fasting, it may harm blood sugar control. On the other hand, some experts say intermittent fasting carries risk, especially for people who need to keep their blood sugar levels stable. So, skipping bowl meals can result in poorer blood glucose control, not to mention issues such as fatigue and reduced energy and thus an increased risk of injury. Skipping meals may also cause people to make poor diet choices, which can have the opposite effect on their waistline and blood sugar. If you have not eaten for hours, you may be more inclined to reach for a carb-heavy pastry and plate of pasta. So blood sugar management can be a real concern with intermittent fasting for people with type 2 diabetes. 
That's why it's important to discuss intermittent fasting with your physician, monitor your blood sugar closely, and know that your medication may need to be adjusted as well. Your dietitian and diabetes care and education specialist can help guide and support you through this process. A plan that severely restricts a person's calories or ask them to skip meals can be hard to stick with long term. Who practice so while losing weight can be beneficial for people with diabetes because it increases insulin sensitivity, putting weight back on can have the opposite effect, increasing the risk for diabetes complication. So the people with type 2 diabetes, people who are on specific diabetes medication, so in particular, may be at increased risk of the complication, which can be a life-threatening. Certain people, such as those who are pregnant or breastfeeding or have an underlying disease or medical condition, should also avoid intermittent fasting. Anything you have a higher demand for more nutrition, you don't want to do a fast. So explaining that people who are pregnant or breastfeeding require extra calories for themselves and their babies and fasting can cause them to run out of glucose and bone fat, tissue and muscle. Now, if a pregnant person overproduces ketones, a compound that is produced when the body uses fat for fuel, the effect can be harmful to the fetus. So people with diabetes also run the risk of developing diabetic ketoacidosis and which occurs when your body does not have in enough insulin to move blood sugar into your cells for use as energy. When that happens, your liver responds by producing too many ketones, which can build up in the body and damage the kidney as well as cause brain swelling. So diabetic ketoacidosis may even lead to a diabetic coma or death. So that's all about the diabetes in this video with the intermittent fasting. I'll definitely come in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.